Hello, my full name is Caterina Bortolussi and I'm a designer of Kinabuti. My partner's full name is uh, Francesca Rossetta and she's more involved into like the operations and making sure that uh, the financial part uh, is healthy and uh, dynamic, so I'm more into the creativity. But uh, we co-own Kinabuti. So I was born in Italy in a small village of 300 people and uh, my family is, uh, you know, comes from the farm. So they both, uh, my grandparents, they were both um, from my mother's side, my father's side, uh, they were like raising cattle uh, and having fields, you know, like farmers. And uh, my father buys and sells cows um, and my mother helps him out uh, in the, uh, not really, it's not she with the accounting and everything. So we're a little, you know, like simple family. And Francesca, my business partner, comes from the same uh, village. And a village that is close by, so we've been knowing each other for over 20 years. I am now based in Lagos, Nigeria, like for the past uh, almost eight years. And it's a big difference, you know, moving from 300 people to 18 million people. And, uh, but I like it, I really like it. The energy here is amazing, you know, there's a lot of positivity and uh, it's good also, I think that also, he expresses in our clothes uh, that where we are from and where we are now, you know, like this contemporary African or... So it's, it's, it's very good, it's very inspiring. I decided to set up Kinabut and to start my fashion label because when I start, I, I don't think I've got the personality to uh, be able to work in an environment and start, you know, like from the bottom and you know, like best environment would have been Italy to learn, you know, like, but I think that the environment would have not been suitable for me, you know, like fashion can be really, you know, superficial and can be really like uh, prima donnas. Uh, I did a little hint, uh, a stint, how do you say, in, uh, uh, in Italy I work, when I left Nigeria and I decided I wanted to work in fashion, I work for a fashion stylist, very famous in, um, in Italy. She does uh, Queen Rain, Rainier Jordan. We, we have met uh, throughout the year the most amazing people which we have established, you know, partnership. Like now we've just launched a new range of accessories of pochettes. And I remember when I was in India this year, I met this designer that she used to work with Roberto Cavalli. And you know, like grow, working with people that have, so she worked for eight years with Roberto, she was just below Eva Cavalli. And uh, you learn a lot, uh, you know, like, uh, so I think also this collection came about of, uh, you know, like, looking, you know, like, going to where she works, you know, another designer that I brought in from Italy came and she does things that transform. So it's a lot of observing and letting God guide you, you know, because it's going to put on, on the path the right people that uh, will enable you, you know, like, to to move forward. And now Vali, you know, like that, uh, she, she joined in April our team and she's got 30 years experience in uh, production of garments. Uh, so before she had her own atelier, uh, she started in an atelier, then she had her own atelier, then she went into wedding clothes and then she worked for the most famous costume maker uh, for TV, opera and theater in, uh, in Italy. So now she joins, so she brings a lot of like, uh, um, contribution when it comes to the detail and to the construction of the clothes. So we still have a lot that we want to do, but what we see is that there is a steady growth, you know, like, uh, and, uh, and we are together, you know, all the people that we work with, they're very good people, wonderful art, you know, like, and uh, we learn from each other. For me, like, uh, for us, a big, uh, big moment, uh, like, uh, that we'll always remember was uh, uh, doing the training uh, in the community for the tailors uh, because that was a dream becoming a reality you know we studied from the beginning and we I remember the award ceremony that happened a couple of weeks ago man I was crying when we saw the documentary and then also like having amazing clients you know like high personalities wearing our clothes you know for the biggest events uh, and paying for it you know like it, it's really, it really makes you feel special and also after the launch of this collection, the response of people was really incredible, you know, although it was just a preview. Like I remember Saturday night we were out and everybody was saying, amazing collection, amazing collection, you know. The day after the collection I went to see a friend just for dinner and he started looking good to the collection and he bought basically the entire male collection for him and his kids, you know. 
and that really you know makes you because at the end of the day you know you have to pay the bills you know and uh, sometimes the design is very difficult to cope with the commercial aspect you know and uh, so being me and Francesca together and being so different and so complimentary really helps because me I don't even want to know about you know money you know when there is the bill I send them straight to Francesca and the uh, Fashion is an industry, as an industry it's got numbers and you need to like make sure that the numbers match because that's the only way you can grow and that's the only way you know like that you can move forward. So but every day is a highlight you know like having Bali joining our team you know like was really, I said to Francesca I'm not going back to Nigeria this year if I don't go back with somebody that can oversee production. So, but we look forward, you know, we've got many more projects in the pipeline and we look forward to more celebration and uh, giving thanks to God. I believe that what makes a fashion brand successful is a good combination between uh, being creative uh, and being a well-organized business. Uh, because many times uh, fashion houses focus on being creative, coming out with the most, uh, but your ideas have to sell. and, you, and Another thing that I think is very important for a fashion brand is to have a very solid organization, management and healthy financial management as well. I would love to see better quality garments. I would like to have in Nigeria garments that like they can compete with garments made in Italy or also made in Turkey, that would be nice. And I believe that uh, we definitely be able to produce more in series, which we are not able at the moment. Uh, and so production is a big uh, issue. But I think that uh, that's what uh, I would love to see for my brand and for the other brands in Nigeria. So the, the, the vision for Kinabuti is to create uh, a, a sustainable growth. Uh, and, uh, and to be able, you know, to be part, to foster, you know, like the economy of, uh, you know, Nigeria. And how we do that, you know, like, uh, to create a sustainable uh, uh, growth is um, to create something that, uh, you know, can give jobs uh, in a sustainable way. And when it's our production, distribution, manufacturing, you know, anything. But, and be part of uh, fostering economic growth uh, in Nigeria is uh, create something that can give more jobs and can create health, wealth, you know. So that's uh, the biggest vision we have, you know, and continue empowering uh, people. But that comes with the sustainable development because you, you won't have development uh, if you don't have uh, people working with you. And to have people that can work with you and be part of it, you need people with the right skills. So. In, in, in the four words, uh, sustainable development uh, and contribute to economic growth. The dream we need to be set, we need to set up our production by the beach, uh, like uh, a Kinabuti holding uh, that uh, produce uh, thousands and thousands of garments, distribute all over Nigeria, all over Africa, uh, to have our fashion school, uh, to have uh, like houses for all the people that work with us. Uh, and to have a school for the people, for the kids of the people that uh, work with us, to have a little community. That is the dream. So I look forward to being interviewed by Spice TV in the beach, you know, like with uh, in our little Kinabuti community. Hello, this is Katerina from Kinabuti, and you're watching Spice Fashion Channel.